Hi my love, so today we're going to do a little Christmassy look, I'm here barefaced, there was a lot of noise around me so today I'm doing a voiceover for this video, um, so I'm going to start off with some concealer on my lids, this is, the, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, I think it's in the shade, oh, I'm not sure about shade but I'll write everything in the info box, oh my god this video is already all over the place, anyways I'm going to go in with my Colourpop Bare Necessities palette i've just received this and it's actually so so nice i was so surprised by the quality of it um and i'm just going in with a bunch of browns on the outer crease so i started with a lighter one in the crease and the outer corner then went in with a darker one on the outer corner and now we're going in with a pretty pretty gold it's just like such a christmasy like goldish color the brushes that I'm using are actually from the new Colourpop brush set, so I'll link that in the info box. I'm now using the collection Glam Crystals. This is just to add a bit more glitz, and it was just the perfect touch to the eyes. It's so, so pretty. Now we're going in with a black, and the black in this palette really surprised me because it's just so, so intense. And I just really like went back and forth on the lash line and really smudged it out and made it look super smoky. And I also did a little bit of a wing. You just want to drag it out, but take your time with this. Um, I I used uh, an angled brush first and then I used a little tiny fluffy one to like smoke it out. Now we're going to use the Honest uh, Beauty Mascara. This was my first time using it but I have um, been loving it since I used it. I filmed this video a while back and I've been using it all week to work. It's so nice. It doesn't transfer or crumble and it, it's really good. It's got a primer side as well. I don't really use it but the brush side and the mascara itself is really really nice. Now we're going to use the Revlon Rose Glow kind of primer. Um, this is just really, really glowy. I just want, I wanted really glowy skin. Um, so I'm just going to apply a bit of this. Oh, and I also like to let my mascara dry and put some more just to make it look really full. I'm now using this bronzing gel kind of thing. It's from, I think it's from Collection. It's quite new and it's so nice. It adds a bit more warmth to the skin and it's so, so glowy without being glittery. Um, now I'm going in with my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 9. Um, this shade match is like the perfect ever. I love it so much. It's like my winter color. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just going to blend this out with my X1 Cosmetics sponge, which I definitely, definitely recommend. It's so much like softer than a beauty blender and much more affordable. So if you want to save some coin, go for this sponge. It's so good. I've been using it every day. Now I'm going to use some NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Biscuit. I used to use Caramel, but this Biscuit shade is more brighter and I really like how it just brightens my under eyes. You do want to blend this quickly because it does dry down a bit. Fast, I would say. I used a bit of my Laura Mercier powder just to set that in place and now we're using this new Makeup Revolution Strong um, Soul palette and I'm going to use the bronzer shade and it's just so pretty. I really like the tone of this cut, um, of this bronzer shade. Again the brush is from the Colourpop brush set so yeah this brush it was so good i love every single brush in it okay now for the exciting part i'm using the t uh, live tinted hue stick in found i was so lucky lucky to meet deepika who's the founder of this brand and oh my god she's the sweetest ever she treats a bunch of bloggers in london to a meal like indian food and um today i'm going to be trying to she kindly gifted this um shade found to us um, it's amazing. You can color correct with this. You can use this as blush. I'm using this on my lips right now and as you can see I'm putting a bit on my cheeks and it's just a beautiful burnt red shade. Uh, it's just so lovely. Oh my god, I love this product and the consistency of it is so nice and I just love this red. It's like, I'm not like one to wear red but this is like a red I would wear because it's so toned down and burnt and warm. It's so beautiful. So yeah, now we're going to be using the Revlon Endless Glow Highlighter. Um, um, again, you want to like make sure you blend this because it kind of dries down quite quick. So just quickly blend it with your finger or sponge. But it just gave it a beautiful, beautiful golden glow. Guys, I can't get enough of this lip shade. Like, look how pretty it is. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Now we're going to go back into the palette and grab a warm brown and use this on the lower lash line and just buff it out slightly. And I'm going to put some mascara as well because you know I can't go out without mascara on my lower lashes. It just doesn't work out for me. Although sometimes I've tried it but I do prefer it on my lower lashes. <laughs> 
And yeah, this is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do recreate it, tag me on Instagram. I want to see your looks. And yeah, I'm going to try and do some more Christmassy looks before Christmas. I love you guys lots. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.